Hi guys and welcome back to another video with me, Ali. Today's video is about everything that I bought in Disney World Florida, Orlando, um, from the official parks. So I'm going to run you through all the different bits that we've bought back. Some of them um, were, you got them as part of a purchase and some of the things are, most of the things are Halloween based because it's me. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So we're gonna start with some of the things that are, when you purchase a certain way, you get to keep the thing. So I'm gonna start with, we went to Typhoon Lagoon, which is one of the two water parks that they have in Disney World. Um, since COVID, they only open one of the water parks every six months. And while we were there, it was Typhoon Lagoon that was open. My husband was a beer drinker, and so to save on money um, throughout the day, we went with the refillable cups, which means that with regards to stuff like beer, you aren't paying as high a price each time. You pay a le lesser price if you're using a reusable cup. The reusable cup design for Typhoon Lagoon for things like beers is like this. It has the Blizzard Beach logo on one side, and the Typhoon Lagoon on the other, and it's in this lovely turquoise color. It is plastic, but from what I gather, because I wasn't the one purchasing them, um, it took his beers down to more like five, six dollars each time instead of like 13, which he had been paying for just the throwaway cups. So this is a really useful thing that you can do and get in the water parks, um, and that will save you some money, especially if you know you're gonna be drinking a lot throughout the day. If you are a soft drinker like me, who prefers her like um, Coke and things like that, then you can get one of these um, reusable cups. So as you can see, this one has got a tropical theme on it and it has, this is um, Typhoon Lagoon and this is Blizzard Beach. So it does incorporate both of the water parks and you've got Mickey and Minnie on there as well with this like tropical floral theme. It has a lid. Um, and it has a straw that you can drink out of and then an area where you can put it back in to not get any sand or anything gritty in there. It has a handle to make it easier to carry around the parks. So when you're walking around, you can just hold it. Um, the capacity is quite large as well, I would say. And there are refill stations all around Typhoon Lagoon. I imagine also around Blizzard Beach where you can fill this up with water, apple juice, coke etc um and yeah this again um you will pay one price at the beginning for this which i believe was something like 14 or 16.99 dollars um but then for the rest of the day i just got to fill up my drink for free um so if you've got little ones or young ones i think this is a great way to save yourself some money and get yourself a nice little souvenir to bring back. There was a couple of other glasses that we also received the same way. So one of those was from the Rainforest Cafe. Um, again, my husband had a beer and because he had the beer in the souvenir glass, he got to keep the glass. Um, so this is the Rainforest Cafe Orlando beer glass. Really nice design. Again, great way to bring back something from the parks and also get the benefit while you're out there. And then finally from Disney Springs, we went to the uh, Paradiso um, restaurant on our last night and they did the same thing. Um, when you ordered a beer in one of their um, souvenir glasses, you got to keep the souvenir glass. It obviously says Orlando, Florida on, it, Florida on it. And again, a great way to bring back a souvenir for yourself from the parks or from Disney Springs, um, especially if you're maybe like an older person going, as in like able to drink, it's a good way to have something usable in your cupboards that is still a memory. Move it on. Um, I'm just gonna show you the bags that we got for um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And I'm also gonna insert a video here explaining what kind of things you can expect from that in terms of the candy. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna run through Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party candy thing. So if you are a regular customer, as in you have no allergies or anything like that, this is the bag that you're going to receive. Um, it says Mickey's Halloween party on it. It's got, let's boo this on the back. And this is the initial bag that you'll be given. Please bear in mind, you can take your own bags into the park and have them filled with candy. So if you wanted something bigger, you can, that's not a problem. They also do have like spare bags that are 
more of a plastic material spare um, if you want to get another bag. Um, and the chocolate that you're going to receive, the sweets you're going to receive, this is just a selection. Yes, we have eaten some of them. Well, my husband had eaten some of them and I've given some to my brother. But as you can see, you've got Skittles, Starburst, Twix, um, Lifesaver gummies. There's some mini Snickers here. They also did some Snickers this side, Milky Way, lots of M&Ms. Um, and some smaller mint Milky Ways as well. And then whatever these are, this is one of those ones I don't recognize, Three Musketeers. Um, I know this doesn't look like a lot, you could get a lot more if you wanted to. We weren't as fussed about the candy side of things, um, but I just wanted to show you what sort of sweets and treats you can expect when you have this bag, which is the regular bag. If you are like me and you have an allergy, so I have a nut allergy, you are going to get yourself a bag that looks like this. Um, and it is turquoise. It still says not so scary Halloween party. Um, and instead of collecting sweets as you go around, you will collect tokens. So you're gonna get a, a token that looks like this. It says, please redeem for allergy friendly treats. Um, it is also in this teal color. And at each of the stations where you go to get sweets like that lot you will receive a token like this um there are 15 spots you can go to um however a lot of the cast members are really friendly and they'll give you like extra ones of these and then at the end of the night there are i think two places that you can redeem your tokens and they will present you with allergy friendly treats so the allergy friendly treats that we get so we've got some granola there is like this is sort of like a sunflower buttercup. We've got some Werther's Originals, some different types of gummies, chocolate bars, lollies, lots of these. There was also some cinnamon graham crackers, which I kind of wish I'd got more of because they were delicious. And then um, you get like this little kit to make your own little bookmark with as well. Again, I have eaten some of these, um, but this is the sort of thing you are to expect if you have somebody with an allergy. I think it's really good that they cater for people with allergies out there because I must admit that was something I was a little bit worried about with this side of the Mickey's Not So Scary. But as you can see, there is a wide variety there. Um, and when I went to collect my sweets, they did say like, is there anything else you wanted? I could have like picked more. Again, wish I'd realised about the graham crackers. I didn't really realise what they were giving me because I would have definitely had more packets of them because they were delicious. Um, but yeah, so you've got lollipops, you've got these ones, which are called something different in um, the UK. They are not Smarties. This is not what I think a Smartie is. But um, nice variety. And like I said, they're all um, allergy friendly. Some of them are even like um, gluten free. So like the gummy bears are gluten free. So if my mother ever went with me, she'd be happy because she could have some of these as well. They do ask you what your allergy is when you get there because I assume that there are some things that um, are allergy friendly for some allergies and not for others. But it's really good that they give you that option. So you will pick up a bag like this, collect tokens like that, and this is the kind of thing you're going to get at the end of the night. And again, if you are a sort of normal trick-or-treater with no allergies, you'll get a bag like this and you'll be receiving sweets that look like this. So I've just put my little bookmark together. Um, these are the three designs that are clearly available. You get a witch, a werewolf, or a Frankenstein. It tells you how to put each of these together on the little sheet that comes in the packet. And this is my cute little werewolf. I'm really glad I got the werewolf because that, that fits me perfectly, sort of like in the dog realm. Um, he's really sweet and obviously this is meant to be a bookmark so that's one of the other things that you can get if you are an allergy person at mickey's not so scary and like i said there are three to collect and i've got the little werewolf if you run out of space in your main bag they do have spare bags to give you and the spare bags look like this so they've still got all the branding on but they obviously are the plasticky ones like they are for the allergy friendly. So that is an extra design bag that you can get if you're at the Mickey's Not So Scary and you run out of space in your original one. I'm also gonna show you the Disney bands. Um, so we actually ended up going on two different nights because the first night it 
rained and rained and rained and everything got cancelled. So um, the people at uh, the guest services, I went down, I had to pay like a little bit extra because of the differences, but we managed to get to go and actually get to see the uh, boo parade on the second attempt. Um, but these are the little bands that you get for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So one of the nights was orange, another night was green. Um, these are really cute. And again, a great little thing that you can bring home with you um, as a momentum from the day. So I will be putting those on our shelves somewhere because again, it's just nice little things that you get to keep. And I always say, if you get anything like that, one of the badges that say it's your first visit or it's your anniversary, your birthday, these are great little free gifts that you get that are perfect souvenirs to bring home with you for your, from your trip to Disney. Moving on, this is something that came from Disney Springs from one of the little kiosks. It is Disney themed, um, but it wasn't in one of the, like, the main Disney um, shops, but it was in Disney Springs. So there is a little kiosk store um, not far from the boat um, restaurant hotel thing that's in Disney Springs and they had lots of Disney collars for dogs and believe me when I say I could have brought about 15 back with me um, but in the end we decided to go with the Winnie the Pooh Tigger one for my dog so as you can see this one has got Tigger on it it's got Winnie the Pooh you've got Eeyore and Piglet um, and yeah, I just thought this was a really pretty collar. Like I said, they had lots of designs. It's got a clip on it. This is the medium um, because my dog's a weird size and large is too big. But for the medium, I paid $29.99. Like I said, they had lots of different designs out there. Um, the other one that I was very tempted by was the Mandalorian one. You go check it out if you've got pets at home because you know, even your pets need some treats to bring home with them. You know, they're part of the family too. So I've just popped the collar on um, my dog so you can see it. Um, so it looks really cute on her. These are all the different characters. Tigger. Um, for her, it is on like the maximum length. Um, she is a staffy cross with a lurcher. She's not too happy with me because I woke her up to do this. But that's the colour on her. On the pet front, um, so I also went to the official Disney store warehouse that was in Orlando at, I think it was called, called the Premier Outlet Mall thing. Um, and one of the things I picked up for her in there is they had on sale um, some Nightmare Before Christmas uh, doggy jumpers, t-shirts, whatever you want to call them. They had quite a few like of these kind of things in the parks as well. They had a um, Haunted Mansion one. Um, but I fell in love with this one. I thought this was really cute. And I have taken the tag off of it because of the way I needed to get it home to be able to fold it up. But like I said, it was on offer. I think I only paid something like 7 99 for this because it was from the Disney Character Warehouse. Always worth a trip there to see if you can get any bargains. But yeah, so we've got a Nightmare Before Christmas doggy jumper for Bellatrix and hopefully I can do a video with her trying it on or maybe I can insert one here. So this is Belle with her Nightmare Before Christmas top on. Wait. This is the front. And wait. <laughs> I've got a treat in my hand. This is the back. Actually, for an extra large, it actually fits her torso quite well. It was a little bit difficult to get a pause in, but that's what it looks like. The other thing that I got from the Disney Character Warehouse was actually a spirit jersey. Now, I was really, really wanted to get several spirit jerseys. I only ended up with one. Um, but the one I really liked, I knew was from a previous season. So the only chance I had of finding it was going to the Character Warehouse. And I was very lucky that when I walked in, this was literally the last one on the shelf. Um, and that is the uh, Haunted Mansion spirit jersey in this tie-dye blue and purple effect. I love this. This is, I, I'm so glad I got hold of it. It also does um, glow in the dark. Um, and on the back, you've got the Haunted Mansion logo across the top. And on the bottom, we've got Madame Leota. Um, with some of the instruments as well. Now, normally a spirit jersey will cost you around $60. Um, they can be higher, sometimes a little bit lower, depending on. Um, but this was on sale in the Character Warehouse for like half price. 
I paid just $29.99 for it, which I think for a spirit jersey is a bargain. This is a size medium, but as you can see, the medium is quite large, but it was the only size left. And I was like, I don't really care what size it is, it's coming home with me. So this is probably one of my favorite finds. But like I said, it's very much worth a while going down there because they have lots of lounge fly and things like that that come out of the parks that are like past seasons. Um, and they're all at discounted prices. If you are a pin collector, I especially would say go down there because they have a lot of pins that are priced from $2.99 to $4.99, which is a lot cheaper than what you would be paying in the parks. Let's move on to some more clothes that we got actually in the parks, which is like the current season stuff. So as I said, we did Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, so I wanted to get something from that to commemorate it that I could wear. And so I got myself the t-shirt now i probably will cut off the collar of this because it's a little bit high and i'm not a massive fan of really high necked collars but i really like this it's got the uh hocus pocus villain spectacular 2024 logo here with the um cauldron and then on the back it's sort of like a, a poster um with details about the samson sisters and all the different events so we have got um it says Hextra, Hextra, I like that, uh, October 31st, 1993, Sanderson's Spirit, says Trouble is Brewing, Hocus Pocus, Villain Spectacular, the Sanderson Sisters cast a spell on audiences in Full Moon Spectacular, catch a sister's spellbinding show before they fly away for another year. And then it's sort of like got some adverts down here, you've got Winifred's Bewitching, uh, brooms, mops and vacuums, um, Black Flame Candle Co. Uh, then you've got the little By the Sanderson Cauldron here. And then you've got the High Binks Ensues. Follow the Black Cat to the only party at Magic Kingdom. I just think this is a really great sort of um, commemorative tea. Um, again, I took the labels off because I've already worn it. Um, but again, I feel like this one was under $20, and I believe that's probably why I picked it up rather than the jumpers. Um, they did have spirit jerseys with the Sanderson sisters on. Um, I'm just not a fan of the um, the cartoon that they've currently drawn of the Sanderson sisters. I personally prefer like when they just do, like this top is, um, just the hairstyles of the Sanderson sisters. Um, but that's just a personal preference. Everybody's different. Um, but that's sort of why I didn't pick up any of the Sanderson Sisters products in the Disney parks is because I just wasn't a fan of the artwork that they have currently got running for the Sanderson Sisters. Um, but that's okay. Um, I, I do have a fair bit of Sanderson Sisters stuff anyway. Um, but this mentions them, but with all those cutesy things like their brooms down here, which are, and their silhouettes up here, I much prefer this sort of representation of those characters. Uh, next up, we've got some Nightmare for Christmas stuff. So um, I don't know whether you class this as a spirit jersey um, because it doesn't have the line across the top, but we have got a um, Zero um, and Jack top, again, in sort of like tie-dye effect, um, but this is sort of like a black and white tie-dye. Um, again, I got this in the medium. Um, I probably could have got away with the small, but I just prefer things baggy. Um, that is the back of the top, it says Tim Burton's The Night Before Christmas and then you've got Halloween Town at the bottom as well. Um, you've got snowflakes that go all over the arms, both sides um, and I believe this one was $39.99. So yeah, that is my Jack one. The last and probably my most expensive um, clothing purchase was this amazing jacket. Now, there were several items that was Haunted Mansion clothing that I would have totally brought home with me, including a jogger set, but they just didn't have my size in the trousers. And um, if I was gonna get it, I wanted to get the whole set. But instead I went with this jacket, which is the wallpaper from the Haunted Mansion ride. Now, this is one of my favorite rides at Disney. Um, I know it's an OG ride, but like, I just love it. This jacket is fairly thick um it is got a collar on it it has got pockets which we all like do love a good pocket 
and it has got a silver sort of silvery zip down the front it's like a brush silver it unzips if i can get it to unzip there you go the inside is lined just with black but it's quite a weighty like heavy jacket that it will be perfect for this winter season that we're going into um again i believe i picked it up in a medium because I, again i don't like overly tight fitting things um but i adore this this was a fairly expensive uh purchase this one i think was 69.99 i think that's how much it was um but definitely an item that i will constantly wear i think the pattern on it is if you know you know but it's very wearable or it's certainly very wearable for me um so i can't wait to start wearing this as the days are getting colder love this love this so much another item that i got that it was very much for halloween time in uh, disney was a tote bag um because i i love my reusable bags we always go everywhere they're great for packing great for travel um this particular one um glows in the dark um and it has got the mickey pumpkin on the front and obviously it says halloween it also has that branding on the handles like so and has got a zip along the top perfect kind of beach bag really or to take to the water parks there it's a very high capacity um, bag fully lined there is also a zip on the inside of this bag so that you can separate a few things you can see that um and yeah uh this one was 24.99 so 25 dollars but i it's really well made like i said it's lined it's it's going to last you and it's a really decent size and if you're smart you could even buy this at the beginning of the night of mickey's not so scary and use this as your trick-or-treat bag and then you'd have plenty of candy to take home next up is probably my other favorite purchase now i wish i'd found um i wish i'd found this buddy earlier in the day um for when i was doing my uh zero bounding outfit so throughout the parks um there's these new things which are like little buddies that sit on your shoulder um and they light up and there's various ones there's star wars ones there's mickey there's um pascal from tangled but the one obviously i really wanted was zero so this is zero with his little uh, pumpkin nose and his collar and everything. Um, I did cut the long tag off of this because a lot of these come with ridiculously sized tags. So the way he works is you get this part, which is what you put underneath your shoulder like so. And then there is a magnet in here and you just pop him on your shoulder and you can walk around with him like that. But it gets better because if you squeeze his bum, ooh, that squeeze your bum. That's picking up, but can you see how he's got a light in him? So in the night, when you're out walking around the park, you've got this little shoulder buddy with the light. He's adorable. I don't know where I'm gonna wear him again, but I think he's cute. Um, maybe I'll wear him down to a rehearsal one night. But yeah, this is my zero shoulder buddy. And like I said, you he just attaches to that magnet. However, I will say this, as good as the magnet is, if you know you're going to be riding on rides with your little pal, um, I would recommend that you pin them to you just for safety reasons, which is exactly what I did. Um, after I purchased him, we ended up going, like I said, to make it not so scary twice. And the second time I decided to wear my Zero outfit again so that I could wear him all day. Um, and I pinned him to me just for that safety reason so that I didn't lose him on any of the rides. Um, I cannot remember how much he was, I'm ever so sorry, but I'm sure if you look it up, you'll be able to find it. But he, for what he is, he was quite expensive, but I had to have him. So like I said, this is zero and there are plenty of other characters out there. Do note that you can get into him. He's got Velcro here, so you can change the batteries on the lights um, if and when they run out. My other little like cutesy thing that I got, which is just a little miniature plushie, um, is my little Oogie Boogie. I love Oogie Boogie. 
um, just as a character, <laughs> just think he's great. Um, this is the kind of like label I'm on about. This kind of label was on zero as well, which is very big and very annoying. So that's why I cut it off. Um, but yeah, this is just a little cute, cute little oogie boogie that will just sit on my shelves. Um, and he's adorable. It's very adorable. Maybe I'll do an oogie boogie, um, bounding next time. Who knows? Because I now definitely, definitely want to try and go and do all the Halloweens at all the different Disney parks. So I think next on my list would be to try going to the Oogie Boogie Bash in California, because that would be amazing. Another Haunted Mansion item that I picked up this year that I noticed in the parks is this. It's got the gargoyle from the ride with the two little candles. And if you look ever so carefully, you can see that it's also got the print of the wallpaper on the actual bottle itself this is one of those lined bottles so it'll keep your cold drinks cold um I'm not sure what's actually in the bottom of it at the moment oh it's like a little paper bit that i need to somehow try and fish out but i like this this is something that i can reuse um over and over again especially like when i'm doing shows um and i love the fact that it obviously has that haunted mansion um overlay and it was definitely a piece that i didn't feel like i was going to be able to get hold of in the uk um and felt like it was very unique to that ride the other haunted mansion item that i got while i was out there which was a nightmare to get home and i'm not gonna lie um was this tray so this tray has got the hitchhiking ghosts on it which is a staple part of the haunted mansion ride it is very well made. You've got metal um, handles here. It is fairly deep in terms of like putting cups and stuff on it. It is easily wipeable and I love the imagery on this. And although this is, feels very Halloween-y, it may just stay out all year round in here. Because, I mean, it's got blue on it. It sort of works with this room, right? Um, this was, I think, around the $40 mark, but it is very heavy. It's well made. It was the thing I was worried about bringing back the most because of how heavy it was. Um, but yes, so Haunted Mansion um, tray. They had lots of Haunted Mansion plates and things like that as well. Um, but I was, again, with a lot of stuff like mugs, etc., I was really worried about getting them home without them breaking. Um, so I was trying to be mindful of what I bought on that front if they were made out of plastic that was fine but ceramic even if you do wrap them really well it only takes somebody to throw your bag really badly and it smashes and i wanted to make sure everything i bought came home with me i'm saving one of my favorite items to last because it was actually the thing that i bought first in the parks so if you are a pin collector out there i'm not normally a pin collector but there are a couple of pins out there that i was like they're really cute got to have them so first up i really wanted to get something from the Hollywood Tower of Terror. I will say I was slightly disappointed with their, the stuff that they had in Hollywood Tower of Terror shop um, in terms of branding. I just felt like, one, everything's got stitch on. I'm fine if you're a stitch fan, but he's on everything and it's starting to slightly get on my nerves a bit because I'm like, there are so many characters of Disney. Why are we so obsessed with stitch? um so that was one thing and all i really wanted was just like a t-shirt with the image of the the actual tower itself or something like that but everything had either stitch or another character put with it so i didn't want to spend money on something that was something i probably wouldn't wear that much because of that so instead i ended up having to settle on a pin um and even the pin has got characters on it. So I couldn't even just get a plain pin that just had like the elevator or just the tower. Um, but so that it was not necessarily your stereotypical t character, I went with the one that has Donald Duck on it. Um, and this is the pin that I picked up. Um, this was a silver band pin. So the pins are priced based on the band on the back um, and you can see the pricing correlating to whatever stickers here. I think silver was one of the cheaper ones. But as you can see, it's got the elevator door without a border on it. And then you've got Donald there holding a load of um, luggage. So that is the only thing I ended up getting for Hollywood Tower of Terror. And like I said, I was a little bit disappointed because 
again, I was trying to buy stuff that you wouldn't get back in the UK. Hollywood Tower of Terror is definitely something you wouldn't see necessarily in the UK. And I was just a little bit disappointed with the current merchandise for this particular ride. For some people, it'll be great. It's just a personal opinion. Um, but I would just like to have seen things that maybe didn't have especially stitch plastered all over it. Um, I just kind of wanted the tower itself or just the elevator. Um, but that's just me. Maybe you guys are different. Um, let me know in the comments below whether you prefer it when they do put characters into um, rides that they don't necessarily belong to or whether you would rather them do more branding that is just for the actual ride itself using their colour scheme, the uniform that the um, attendants and the cast members wear etc um, in the comments below. My next pin is a Halloween pin. Um, I really wanted to get something with Gogo on it. I do love Star Wars. Um, there were many things I could have bought in Star Wars. There were many things I could have bought along the entire park, but I was trying to be restrained and restricting myself because I can't bring back everything as much as I'd like to. Um, so the pin I chose is this one. So this hit two marks on me. This is Halloween and um, it's also Star Wars. So it is Baby Gogo in a little skeleton costume. And if you notice, his basket is actually the Mandalorian helmet. And he is surrounded by some little, what look like jelly beans. Um, again, this one, I can't remember how to pay for this one. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a really cute one. I do have a little pin board where I do put pins or, or badges that I collect. So this will go on there. But yeah, they had quite a few like Halloween pins with different characters on. Um, especially in Magic Kingdom. So if that's something you're interested in and you are a big collector, go either to the Magic Kingdom for the Halloween ones or there is the pin trading um, hub in Disney Springs and they have loads of pins in there. You are bound to find the one that you are looking for. My last pin is <laughs> a massive pin because it's a fig pin. Um, it is the um, Headless Horseman. Now, really sadly, I couldn't get my camera to work when he came down um, before the boo parade began. So in a bid to have a momentum of my of that, I decided to get the commemorative pin um, of the of him myself. Um, I'm not going to open this because I feel like there's a sort of like collector's feel to this. Um, and there might be collectors out there going, don't open it, keep it closed. So yeah, that was the Headless Horseman. I, like I said, I'm just gutted that I couldn't get a, a, like a film version of him as he went by. I just could not get my GoPro to work. Um, but I did manage to get the rest of the parade, which hopefully I'll upload at some point in the near future. Um, the last haunted item, haunted item? Haunted mansion item I have to show you is actually some jewelry, um, which I saw at the last minute on the last day we were there. Um, and I was like, oh, perfect, something I can wear, like, all the time. Um, they did have a matching necklace to these earrings. These were on the violet sticker, so on the back, violet, and that's what correlated to the price. I don't think these were too badly priced, but as you can see, these are beautiful silver earrings, and they have got Madame Leota in the middle. I don't know how well that will pick up on the camera, but there is... Madame Leota in the very tippy toppy middle of that. Um, it's kind of hard to pick it up on the camera, but you can see it in person. But I just thought they were really pretty and a really nice way um, to be able to wear something Haunted Mansion every day in a very subtle manner. They do have the Haunted Mansion logo on the back. So yeah, do check out these kind of things because these are very nice for some of your, um, for some of us older Disney fans. Um, because it's just so much more wearable. Um, they had a matching necklace as well. I just don't wear necklaces as often as you can see. I'm more of an earring person. Um, but do check out the Disney jewellery. Um, really nice thing to have as a momentum that you can wear all the time. Before we come on to our final product, I'm just going to show you some of the designs of the Disney cards that you get for your tickets. Um, these were just handed out randomly as we went in on our first day. We did eventually then just put them onto our Apple Watches, which meant we could use our Apple Watches like a magic band to be able to get in and out of the parks. Um, but on the first day, we were given cards, and the cards that we were given were Tatiana and Moana. Um, like I said, they were completely random, but we've kept them and brought them home with us, because again, nice little momentums to be able to put on a shelf. 
um, as memories from the trip. Finally, my last product um, and was my first purchase in the Disney stores. I saw this when I came off of the uh, Hollywood Tower Terror ride. And I said to my husband, I have to have him. I'm getting him now. He's coming home with me because if I can't find him anywhere else, I'll be very upset. <laughs> Not entirely sure where I'm going to put him yet, but I bought the, um, the Zero Light Up dog house. <laughs> So I don't know how well on the camera it's going to pick up that he's lit up now, um, but maybe if I sh maybe if I uh, off and then on. Um, so he's like a little lamp, I guess. And you've got zero on the top here. His ears are like folded backwards. He sat on top of his little grave slash doghouse. He did cost me forty dollars. But I just fell in love with him, and um, I'm a huge fan of, of Zero, mainly because he's a dog. Um, but this is probably my one of my favourite purchases, and he was the first thing I got, and I absolutely love him. And he will live on my shelf somewhere, and will stay out forever, and not just be a Halloween thing. Because, I mean, he's so cute. How could I not? So that's everything I bought in the Disney parks uh, at um, Disney World Florida Orlando. Um, I pretty much got everything I had on my list. The only regret I have, and this is something that I will give you as a tip if you are going to any any Disney park anywhere in the world, whether that's Tokyo, California, Paris, etc. If you see something that you like, get it. Get it there and then. I saw a Hades from Hercules long sleeve top in Epcot. And I loved it. And I was like, oh no, we've still got a few more days, I'll think about it. I then saw it again in Magic Kingdom, but I couldn't remember which shop I'd seen it. So when we went back for the last time, I thought it'd been in one of the main shops. I could not find it anywhere. And unfortunately, that meant I came home without that top. And it is my only regret that I didn't get is the Hades Long Sleeve t-shirt top that was in, I think when I've looked over my video footage, it was in a shop up near um, It's a Small World and... Alice in Wonderland, Winnie the Pooh area in Magic Kingdom. And it was definitely in one of the shops at Epcot as well. So I'm absolutely gutted that I didn't get that because it's also not available in the UK. Um, if there are any American watchers out there who would be willing to go and grab it for me and send it to me, that'd be amazing. But I highly doubt that will happen. So I would just have to live with that regret. Um, I have a couple more videos coming for you from this trip, like I said, of the parades and some of the fireworks and the three lounge fly bags that I got while I was out there because there were so many stores that sold them. And, you know, the fact that I only came home with three is a miracle because I easily could have filled a full suitcase just for the lounge fly. Um, but it's been a wonderful trip and hopefully I've been able to give you some tips and tricks as well as showing you what's currently available in the stores. Um, if you have any questions that I might be able to answer, if you've got a trip coming up soon, just drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, stay safe and I'll see you next time.